Okay, let's summarize a little bit about what we've talked about. We talked about how to turn the radio off and on with the power switch. We talked about the uh, selecting the antenna and making sure that your antenna switch, which is located up above the radios, is set to the, uh, your particular radio. We've talked about the antenna tuner and how it automatically tunes uh, if the radio changes frequency more than 1% or if it detects more than a 1.5 SWR. We talked about setting a frequency and the fact that you've got memories, you've got VFO, you've got, uh, in fact, two VFOs, A and B. You can operate split. You can input frequencies simply by dialing. You can input frequencies by using the frequency input button and programming that way. Uh, we talked about the fact that even in memory mode, you still have the ability to dial and change frequencies, but it doesn't change the memory mode itself. We've talked about how to actually write memories by using the MW key, the memory write button, and how it keeps intact all of the settings that were uh, on the radio at the time that you uh, did that enter. We talked about um, the RIT, receiver incremental tuning, and the transmitter incremental tuning, XIT, or delta TX as they say here, and how that can give you either a transmitter or receive frequency just a little bit off of what your setting is and how to clear that. From uh, a receive control standpoint, the ability to notch out and get rid of interference, we've talked about the noise reduction key and how that will um, block out some of the uh, atmospheric noises and background interference and how you can adjust that with the noise reduction knob here. We talked about the notch capability and the fact that there's two settings for that, the automatic and the manual. And the automatic will notch out automatically up to three different heterodynes, even if they are moving around, if somebody's tuning on top of you. The manual gives you the ability to manually select the frequency that you're trying to block out. Uh, we talked about the RF control and the squelch control. We've talked about the various filters and that you have bandwidth filters for every one of the modes, and there are three. We talked about how to set those and change those. We talked about the twin passband tuning, which allows you to go in and fine-tune uh, the settings on your uh, passband filter so that you can do more to get rid of interfering signals. From a transmit standpoint, we talked about microphone gain and monitoring your audio using the monitor button. We talked about using the Vox uh, button here to turn your Vox on and off. And we've talked a little bit about uh, the audio characteristics uh, for your particular voice and how you can adjust the radio to get the best audio through. That's not everything that the radio does, but it's most of the important things that you really should need to know about, particularly how to set the frequency, operating frequency, and how to make use of the receive tools to help you get uh, your signal or the signal that's coming to you through all of the interference. So I would encourage you to sit down with this radio as you have the opportunity. Take advantage of some of the weekend contests that we've identified that would be a good opportunity to do that. Come in and learn how to use the radio. You'll find that we have these nifty manuals, which make it much easier than the regular manual that comes with the radio. They are nicely organized on things like how to set up the memories and how to set a repeater set up an operation. They're organized by topic checking and plotting SWR, improving reception, etc. So these, uh, there's uh, one of these in uh, the ECC for each radio, and there's one of these in the trailer for each of our radios. So, very important that you spend some time learning these radios. One of the things that we've discovered is that if we have a major event and the wind link system is down, we are going to be relying quite a bit on HF traffic handling and your ability to run this radio and be comfortable with it and know how to get the best performance out of it, both transmitting and receiving, is going to make a big difference in our ability to get the communications through. So thanks for all of your attention. Thanks for all your hard work and learning uh, how this radio works. And I look forward to getting you your 746 certification as quickly as possible.